So back to the concept of blocking movement and addressing it from a squatting mechanics perspective. This is what I want to talk about. First things first, if I'm talking to someone that has never really squatted before or never been trained at squatting, we've all squatted in one way or another, someone that hasn't had formal education in squatting, what I do is I talk about the following. I'm going to ask them to glue their feet together. The reason we glue the feet together is the same reason we talked about during the burpee progressions. It's because when I go into hip flexion, immediately I see an automatic knee turnout. So in order to get people squatting for the first time, what I say is I say, okay, hands down by your thighs, feet together. All I want to see is can you touch your knees? If you can touch your knees, go ahead and touch mid shin. If you can touch mid shin, go ahead and touch your shoes. If you can touch your shoes, try to touch the ground in front of you. Place the hands flat on the ground. If you look at that knee position, that would be pretty legit for squatting mechanics. Now, if they understand that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some more room. I'm going to still keep the toes facing forward. Touch the knees, touch mid shin, touch the shoe, touch the ground in between your shoe. And what we're seeing now is that we're starting to increase range of motion, hip flexion, knees, knees are out, hands are coming down. Am I rounding my back? Sure. That's not a problem because I'm not loaded. No big deal. But what I am liking is because I'm keeping my hands very close to my body, my butt and hips are traveling back and the mechanics in the hips are actually good. The spine is still rounded. No biggie. Once I get there, I'm going to go a little wider, maybe shoulder width apart a little wider. I'm going to do the same mechanics. Can I get my hands flat to the ground? Once I'm here, what I'm going to do is this may look inappropriate to some of you guys, but I'm going to just start descending with my hips down. How far down can I push my hips down? If you haven't squatted before, what we're going to see is we're going to see a lot of people do the following. They're going to be here, they're going to start bringing their hips down, their heels are going to come up, and they're going to end up in this position. So, that position would not be ideal and for the strength and conditioning room what we're looking for is super flat foot to the ground. So the first progression would be can I just increase range of motion in the hip as I descend with my hands flat on the ground, come back up and stand. When I get that then I'll be ready to move on to the next step.